It starts and stops. What are you doing? Out of the... I'm out of the video. I'm, I'm going to stay here so I can take a photo. Do you want to... Sh- yeah. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to I'm joking. <laughs> I'm going to the uh, John Denver uh, folk festival in in in, in Colorado actually, in June. That'll be awesome. Well, it will be because I said that, I said yeah, the only they've actually got ma- ma- uh, recreational is, is it? recreational yeah, marijuana shops. They do have that. What Colorado? In yeah. Colorado, yeah. Colorado, Colorado. 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 Apparently, they marked a big red X on the hill where John Denver crashed into the hill, and everybody they take pictures of that. <laughs> Crashing to the same part. <laughs> Rocky Mountain's too high. Just quickly, just the start. Rocky Mountain's too high. Rocky Mountain's too high. Okay, Dave, jump on out. I'll do it. I'll put my headphones there. Dave for Denim. So, are you? Dave, double Are you still going? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, still going. Are you doing um, harmonising, Jack? Are you doing backup vocals? Or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because, yeah, no, sorry. Oh, it's just so, are we yeah. wearing cool. these with the microphone? Yeah, wear these. No, no just put them on your head. Yeah, you know. When you play, I'll take mine. Yeah, 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 you put them on your head. Oh, okay. Whack them on the bones. Yeah. Copy that. Copy that. Copy that. I, mean, I was the lingo, you learn yeah, this? I'm learning, yes. Yeah. Beer out of your Yeah, you used to say. Bonza, she's a good shearer. Yeah. Yeah, you're learning this. Yeah, 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 It's very good. Okay. Got a copy, Jane? Got a copy. Can you hear me? Copy that. Yeah. Two poor brother truckers. Aw, gee, I scrub up all right with that. I've got a mustache on. (laughs) (laughs) You'll never forget Pixie, it's all right. This is the most fun I've had all day. Can you put a, a, a um, Insta story on? Yeah, yeah I was going to do it when you sing. Oh. Hashtag the hell out of the love. Oh, isn't that lovely? What a lovely song. Yes, there's a bit of camp comedy. Oh, I love the camp comedy. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. This is uh, Karma Radio 100.58. Kid FM. Out of in Bunge, we're going all over, everywhere. 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 You Look out, it can get a story. Yeah, Kalgoorlie, the Will Canyon, up to Darwin, down to Adelaide. Who cares? It's all over. Out to Ginger Porter. Out to Ginger Porter. <laughs> ginger Porter. <laughs> I'm going to say that is Ginger Porter. Ginger Porter. Ginger Porter. Ginger. He's texting me <laughs> on the air. You're. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to learn, eh? You're living there, you're going to learn now. Right. <laughs> how, how, how awesome was Carrie? Oh, how she was. Carrie? What a lovely young talent. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, lovely. And number nine on the singer-songwriter on iTunes charts. That's pretty cool for <coughs> a young kid just out of high school. It's really awesome. annoying. And Pix, we have uh, a few uh, special, more special guests in the studio with us this morning. She's have... a country music renegade. Yeah. She's, she's a, a trucking woman. She's a tr- What? She's a trucking woman. <laughs> 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 we have Jane Denham and Jake joining us as well. Good morning to you. Oh, is it morning? Is it morning? Yeah, well, yeah still morning. Yeah, still morning. morning. We have to look. Good morning. Happy days. Oh, what, what time is it in Central Australia? This, uh, gets oh, a little nice and yeah, bit closer. Close. Oh, okay. Where are you, Mom? We've got Jane <laughs> Denham in the studio. Hey! <laughs> are you milking or? Oh, okay. <laughs> Cow disease. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> Weird things going on there. <laughs> a floating cow. <laughs> you're addicted to diesel. That's what your trouble is. <laughs> All right, okay, we're going to do this with now. Come on, stand. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, when did you when did you rock up? When did you get here? Uh, well, I got here on Sunday. I did the Country Turns Pink show, oh, which was really yeah. cool. So uh, it sounds really gay. Thank you. For Glen McGrath's family. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. So yeah, I did that, and then I've just been doing radio interviews. And Jake turned up. Oh, you've been here for a while, haven't you? Uh, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So Jake's in my band on the road and stuff. So, but he's busy. 
This is actually Trevor Sinclair's brother. Oh, you Trevor's brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, younger brother. He's got less hair in your arms than you. <laughs> yeah, he's got less hair on top of his head too. <laughs> For those of you who know Trevor Sinclair. Awesome, awesome. Tell us, what's, yeah. what's been happening? What's been happening with you? What's... Well, I've had a great year last yeah. year. After I left Tamworth, um, I took off to the States and did some songwriting and had a bunch of um, yeah meetings with people and then ended up they liked the whole Jane Denham trucking thing and so I ended up going to the uh, to Dallas, Texas, and performed at the um, Great American Truck Show. No. Yes. <gasps> uh, uh, oh, that, like, no, that would have been yeah, amazing. Yeah, it was it was amazing. So that was a real honour and and of course um, you know being Australian and they haven't seen a chick that sings about trucks so it kind of it went a bit crazy and it was really good so now I've been invited to go back to the Louisville truck show which awesome. is the biggest truck show in the world wow there so, are so many jokes going through my mind <laughs> so yeah know, which it's crazy going? and I mean even radio over there is such a different thing like yeah. the, um, I was brought out by a radio station over there and they have 800 just alone just trucking radio mm -hmm. just trucking so mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's a whole other world. But yeah, I'm really excited to be invited back. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been writing, got a new album coming out this year. So. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. <clears throat> Tell us how you got your start in the business. Because you've been around for... 10 years this now. year. No, is it a whole decade years. for you? Yeah. Because yeah, I, I remember when you came here first. Yeah, year. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was um, busking 10 years ago at the front of Jeans yep. West. Yep. And with my sister and my friend. Mm -hmm. And then we ended up... Um, by John Kane and Mark Wormsley heard my songs that I'd written, which Chick Ute was one of those songs. And then, yeah, did, the, did an album that year, and then it was sort of 18 months later, I was nominated for my first Golden Guitar. Awesome. And, yeah, and then, of course, got signed to ABC with the third album, and yeah, you've it's three crazy. Smash. You've had three or four smash hits. Yeah, three, sing three number ones, yeah, so yeah, yeah it's been a crazy wonderful. 10 years, yeah. but yeah, I'm honoured. Yeah, it's been good, yeah. good fun. It, wait, back in the old days, when you, did you win one of the busking competitions or not? Do you know what? I was so bad, clearly, because I couldn't even get a cup of coffee. I think we had four barks. So clearly, I wasn't the greatest busker in the world. Like, I was one of the secret. I was the one of the, <laughs> the secret panelists back oh, then to yeah. judge the, uh, yeah, oh. the panel stuff. Yeah, yeah no. I, I can't remember, it's 10 years ago, but yeah, we didn't do that well, to be honest. Maybe it was the Jeans West thing, the poster looked better than I did. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, she's not, not that girl singing. <laughs> Jane Denham. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. That's how the Jeans show <laughs> I'm just making that clear. Uh, yeah, I think you'll ever that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like, you know, that was back in the day when uh, it was uh, a bit more quiet on Pure Street. No. No, it was amplified because I remember carrying my PA down the Peel oh, Street okay. and dying of heat. So, <laughs> and thought so I'm never doing this again. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was yeah, amps were around back then. So when was, you, uh, when you, you you I just noticed here <laughs> that you were entertained the VIP crowd at Keith Urban's yeah. Sydney shows. That was super fun. Yeah. So so you you did you perform? So it was backstage for the VIPs VIP with Richard crowd. Wilkins. Right, so yes. that was he hosted it, right. and I was the entertainer. But the funny thing was, they booked me and they said, "Oh, we didn't know because it, it went really well, just quietly." Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, no, of course. And the crowd liked it, and they said, "Oh, we're so grateful that they enjoyed your show." And I said, "Oh, why do you mean that?" And they said, "Because <laughs> a lot of Keith Urban fans aren't really into country music." <laughs> and I was like, "And they thought I wore a hat." Yeah. They were like, "Oh, we don't know about this Jane Denham." Anyway, so luckily. Praise the Lord, it went all right, and yeah. So, so that that, that uh, the way Keith's gone. Uh, what do you think of the way Keith's gone with that that new song, Fighter, of course? Oh, I love it. I do too. It's, it's got a lovely mandolin start on it. It's yeah. parks the country. Yeah. He certainly made a jump that no one else has made before. Yeah, well, I think he always has. Rather, anyway. it's it's all, even in Australia, yeah. you yeah, know, he was. That was very strange. Well, he owes me ninety three dollars for a telephone uh, bill from nineteen eighty three. Oh well, just sort of. <laughs> He'd be good for it now. I think he might be able to pay back the debt. <laughs> hey Keith, who is it? It's Pigs. How'd you get past the dogs? Doesn't matter. You owe me the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like I like his stuff. Yeah. Um, country yeah. Sounding stuff. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I love that's country. That's good. He always carves new ground. I think that's yeah. you know, what he does. Yeah, and we, we like to claim them as our own. Of course we do. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, 
We always do that for New Zealand stuff. <laughs> we do, don't we? I keep telling them we send, we send the troops over, take it over, it'd be our right. Exactly. I've been saying it for years. <laughs> I reckon we send it. <laughs> send the troops in and take it over. <laughs> so for the rest of the festival, what's uh, what's in um, store for you guys? Uh, well, we're going to be doing an unplugged show, which is very unusual because I, I specifically when I started, because I wanted to sort of brand myself as the country rock chick. I never did shows unplugged ever. Just to, till I got established, and I figured 10 years later, if I haven't done a pie now, I'm in big trouble. So <laughs> I said to Jake, um, yeah, it'll be fun. So we're doing Unplugged at, uh, where are we at? West's in the Outback Bar, so that'll be fun. Two and then at two o'clock on Australia Day. And then tomorrow night, this is super fun actually, we're doing something a little different. I'm doing an, uh, I'm doing a Jane Denham Presents Women That Rock. And so what it is, is me singing everything from Susie Quattro, Joan Jett, <laughs> I'm going to get your roller skates on. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not doing Xanadu, though. Oh, you, um, no, no, but you're doing Susie Quattro. Oh, Susie yes, Q. yes. Oh, right? sorry, yeah. Oh, she great. was in every roller rink in the state. She was. Oh, I know. Roller skates on. I know. Do you want a bit of Pat Benatar as well? Pat Benatar, oh, stop. Yeah, I'm doing, yes. <laughs> yeah, I am. You've got to come. You've got to come. Yes. So, yes. We're at, yeah, we're at Diggers from 11 till 1, uh, starting Wednesday. Yeah, so that's going to be super fun. I just wanted to do something a free show and something a little bit crazy. Yeah. And so, and, and I'm gonna we're gonna do um, yeah some of my stuff as well in there, like the rockier songs, yeah. but and then some Carrie and some Gretchen Wilson and yeah, yeah it'll be good. It'll be a great night. Yeah, I always, I always, um, you know, thought I always think that artists should do a an acoustic album or you know a slower album or you know yeah. just something like unplugged or something like that. You know, I've always yeah. thought. Everyone should do it. Well, I, I toured with Carter and Carter this year on their Taste of Samworth tour, and Jake and, and Travis were just going, you just got to do, because we, we do a lot of unplugged sh shows, and that was very rare for me, and they were like, you have to do it. It really gets people to hear what you really sound yeah. like, and so I'm sort of jumping out of the boat. Great, great voice too. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jake. Well, you, you can't always hear that, like, with a big run on the show, so. Talk, yeah. Talking about unplugged, mm -hmm. and um, Got your guitar with you, Jack. Uh, yeah. Jane, I think I might get you to do. Mm -hmm. do yeah. Something. Okay. Well, I've been songwriting uh, in Nashville, which has been a lot of fun working with some of the great songwriters over there. And Is thought, that great? Yeah, it's Jerry such... Sally actually wrote this one. Wow. Wow. So he's he's lovely. So we um of course trying to find the uh, some good trucking songs. So. This is actually the first time we were saying off air um, that we've ever performed this on radio. So it's definitely going to be on the album. And um, so I hope you guys like it. This is called Black Coffee and Lifeline. Life. 